This program is brought to you by Optus. Hi and welcome to This Is Your Life. Well, tonight's guest of honour has recorded and promoted some of the biggest names in music around the world. And he's now organising what for him is a lifelong dream, to stage a concert here at a packed out Melbourne cricket ground. And before he did all this, he was just the skinny son of a Russian migrant. Now, at the moment, we know he's arriving on the other side of the ground for what he thinks is a story to be done on this concert. But we've set the whole thing up. We're going to hide and then return for our sting. We're rolling. So, Michael, how are you going to be feeling in uh, 48 hours' time? Well, hopefully the weather will be a lot better and uh, we'll be uh, celebrating the uh, concert of my lifetime. How long has this taken you to put together? Well, I guess we had the idea of doing a big concert for the start of the 25th anniversary, but we really couldn't get the sponsorship, so got uh, the money to do it. Michael Kodinsky. I told you I was too young for this. How, how could you do this to me? This is my first life. Welcome to MPG. Thank looking you for having me. Barnes, are you? Uh, no, I'm not looking for Jimmy Barnes, I'm looking for you. Yeah, well yeah you thought this was an interview for the Today Show. Yeah, I did, you sneak. <laughs> Boy, are you a job. Well, I started against the... Don't look around the stage, he says. Right. That's my stage. I'll look at it quite light. <laughs> well done. No worries, mate. You're going to have a great night. I hope so. Thank yeah. you. This is my life. <laughs> Yes time, there's never been a better time to buy yourself or someone close to you an Optus Mobile Digital. Call now, 1800 500 725. Here's the latest from Foodworks. Southern Cross canned fruit, 825 grams, 128. Tip top red, 680 grams, 169. How is it they can do both? For personal service and cheaper prices, you get the works with Foodworks. ships were famous for shipping Harris coffee and tea and with the lifeblood of a young emerging nation many a person's character was forged on the high seas now Harris coffee gives you the chance to win the adventure of a lifetime sailing for 10 days as a crew member in the Harris Sydney to Hobart classic boat cruise see packs for details conditions apply Australia we know how you take it Harris coffee I'm looking forward to getting a video that everybody likes. There's always someone that doesn't want it. I'm looking forward to getting the right takeaway for a change. I got some very fussy friends. The right groceries when I go to the shops. I mean, how many sets of apples could there be? How many types of cream are there? How would I know? Bring out a call my mates and find out why I'm the only one at footy training. Just hopeless at Crossbury. I've got this great friend who I always ring up. So by the end of the bus trip, I've always got it finished. Ring into my wife's car, for instance. Put my little son on the phone, and he, especially when he's starting to laugh. You know, it's fantastic. I'm looking forward to catching up with my sister. Get the old mobile and say, where are you, honey? <laughs> now from 8pm to midnight, calls between Optus Mobile Digitals are free anywhere in Australia. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. And it's best. It's playtime. Do I have four legs? It's party time. Give it to me. They're so naughty. Live with Ricky Martin, the Super Jesus, and Jennifer Love Hewitt. Daryl, come back. For McDonald's 6.30 Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Gadinsky. Michael Solomon Gadinsky. <laughs> Good Irish name. You're born in Melbourne on the 22nd of August 1952. 
You're the youngest of three children to Nina and Kuba, Russian migrants after the Second World War. You grow up in a very strict home in Caulfield. You're first regarded as a bit of a mummy's boy. And then as a seven-year-old, show quite a bit of entrepreneurial skill when it comes to being a car park attendant. Is that true, Michael? Two bob a car, eight cars in the backyard. <laughs> no uniform, though. And your dad knew? Well, I didn't cut him in, no. <laughs> uh, now, by the time you're a teenager, your two great loves are Aussie rules football and music. He entered the music business just because of the girls. It's two of your oldest school friends, Michael Olensky and Sam Roden. <laughs> now, Michael, it all started, did it because of girls? Yes, uh, Michael's real interest was always girls. He only admitted it recently. Like doctor, you can't give out confidential information. <laughs> he only admitted it recently, but it was girls that got him involved in music. So did you know he, he would go as far? I and mean, did you see that, that, that drive in him already at yeah. that age? Yep. Yep. He just had a look in his eye and he just... He meant Forget it. the girls, I just didn't want to pay money to get into the dance. I thought That's we'd right. better run him, eh, Sam? That's right. <laughs> which, which you ran with Michael, right? The yeah, dancers? Right. That's right. That's uh, we started off with the dancers and uh, remember we used to go down to St Kilda Beach and hand out the pamphlets. 10 cents discount if you come tonight and uh, first <laughs> night we had 600 kids turn up to our dance and mostly girls mostly girls yeah we did all right with the girls i was counting the money he was yeah. counting the girls <laughs> was there lots of money <laughs> <laughs> we had a good partnership fellas thank you very much for joining us appreciate it Now, your flair for running these dances is obvious, and you're then offered a job with a band promoter. So at just 17, three months before your final high school exams, you actually accept the job. True? Absolutely. Unbelievable. Best thing I ever did. He talked me into it three times over. The only trouble is, of course, your parents don't know, because they're overseas at the time. Your father returns and promptly throws you out of the house. Obviously very displeased. He did the right thing. Did he? Yep. And, and, from what, <laughs> and from what I hear, your mother did the right thing too, huh? Feeding you. Well, we, she wouldn't come to the apartment, which a friend of mine now actually owns, but we'd meet on the corner and she'd bring me chicken soup, yes. <laughs> By 18, you're managing nationally known bands with your own promotions company. In 1972, you stage managed the historic Sunbury Rock Festival. That same year, you form your own record company. You call it Mushroom Records. And, Michael, you are now the ripe old age of 19. We're on the prowl in the 70s. <laughs> From Skyhook's Red Simons and Old 55's Frank Holden. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> now, Red Skyhooks, yeah. Skyhook, Later. Skyhooks and, uh, and Gadinsky uh, had quite a relationship and a partnership, didn't Well, I first came across Michael in the early 70s. He was talent spotting around uh, Melbourne pubs and I suppose he must have gone home because he spotted the Skyhooks and, uh, and signed us. And I, I've got great memories of those times. I mean, that time in far north Queensland with those girls. They said they'd been at a fancy dress party and that's why they were wearing school uniforms. We've got a deal. Remember those girls at the, at the man's room and they had really big hands and feet? I wouldn't really keep on with this red if I was in. <laughs> but Fra Talk Frank, Frank Ma Michael did have a unique yeah, way of signing people up, didn't he? Well, what he'd do is uh, he'd invite you to a big party at his house, right? And he'd say, come along and meet the Mushroom family. So you'd go along there. In my case, I was a fresh-faced young accountant, hadn't seen much of life, so I went along to the house, and there are all of my rock gods, the heroes of my youth, all there in various states of intoxication and various states of undress. And he'd say, do you want to be part of this? And you'd take one look and you'd go, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Fellas, thanks very much for joining us. Much and he saved me from accounting. Thank you, thank you. I'll never forget you. Over the years, This Is Your Life has given us many memorable moments. Right, Courtney, This Is Your Life. This Is Your Life, true stories of great Australians as your chance to savour those moments forever. 
This beautifully presented book highlights the lives of many famous and courageous Australians. Share their remarkable stories. Phone 1300 656 502 for your copy of This Is Your Life, True Stories of Great Australians. Channel 9, still the one for big events next week. 6.30 Sunday night, share in a special reunion as our reporters relive the moment. Do you want this through the middle of that camera? From the greatest stories we've ever told. 20 years of 60 minutes. This Monday. No one touches anything. Seven ways to die. You can expect five more. Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Winner Paltrow at the special adult time of 9 o'clock. Seven. Tuesday night. Five minutes. No chopper. Your man goes down. The season finale of Stingers. 8.30 Thursday. Celebrate one of our greatest sporting heroes in a special one hour. This is your life. Then Friday, relive 15 years of entertainment with memories of midday. Just one of the big events. Not to miss next week on 9. to the crunch, nothing beats my walnut tropical with fresh, golden, healthy California walnut. Look for me at your store. California, here I at Australia Post, you can pay most of your bills at once. Which is great if you're the sort of person who likes getting things done all in one go. Target this week, we've taken 20% off the mark price of all Manchester. Hello. Off towels, bed linen, and curtains. So, for Manchester at modest prices, zoom into Target this week. The perfect low-fat milk is a balancing act between more taste and less fat. Now, with less than 1% fat, introducing new improved Trim and Terrific. Don't wait any longer for a Nissan Patrol, because Nissan have extended their Access Prestige lease offer with a low interest rate of just 6.25%, and Nissan guarantees the future value of your patrol when the lease is up. Yeah, well, off the wall. It has, but you know, he's actually, he is a great dad and he's a great husband and he always actually puts us first anyway, no matter how busy he is, so, you know, and I love him. Please he's been great, Michael. Seat. That's great. Please take a seat. In 1980, you're 27 when you sign up Split Ends. Their album, True Colours, is your first international hit. Now, at home throughout the 80s, you have phenomenal success with Jojo Zepp and the Falcons, Jimmy Barnes, Hunters and Collectors, The Models, Kids in the Kitchen, The Chantuzies, Indecent Obsession and Ian Moss, to name just a few of them. 
And then you discover one of the biggest Australian exports ever, Kylie Minogue. Michael, here I am in your fabulous boardroom, and I remember coming in here 11 years ago um, when Locomotion had just been released, which I know wasn't exactly your cup of tea and was very different from Mushroom in those days. So thank you for your faith and belief in me. And uh, what, 13 or 14 million albums and about 14 million singles later, I think we did pretty well together. So congratulations. I'm sure everyone's going to miss you dearly, um, and I hope that we can keep in touch. Thank you very much. Lots of love. Now, by 1990, you're certainly a force in Australian music. You launch, guide, or promote some of our biggest names, and two of your stable of stars, who are also very close family friends. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Diesel and Jimmy Barnes. Hey, mate. Hi, mate. You. you too, you too. So tell us about him. What can I tell you? He's a ridiculous, compulsive, obsessive, and they're just his good points. <laughs> and, uh, and he's exactly the same as me. Michael, I, you know, I, I, when I left uh, Cold Chisel uh, in 83, you know, I'd watched Michael's label, and it was, there was, I'd been with this multinational label, and, and I'd seen Michael with these bands who he took and sort of nurtured, and, and it was the only person in the country that was making, that, getting bands and trying to make bands grow as opposed to sort of milking them and taking what they could. So, you know, when I went to, you know, as soon as I left coaches, I that was immediately, you know, I wanted to go with Michael. And ever since then, you know, he's, you know, driven me nuts. We had a great time together. <laughs> but, and apart from your professional relationship, I mean, the families are yeah. very close, aren't oh, they? Oh, we're very close. Uh, you know, our, our children have grown up together, you know, Susie's dear friend of myself and Jane's and, you know, and, and Mark and Jeppy as well. Uh, you know, we're just big family. Michael, I've been through, you know, so all sorts of great times and hard times and all sorts, and Michael's been by my side, every one of them, especially when it was harder, you know, so he's a great man. Good friend. <laughs> Diesel, how would you describe him? effort. <laughs> oh, well, um, Michael has a very interesting phone te technique, which I'm sure a few people uh, can relate to. <laughs> uh, or lack of technique, I should say. It's always like a race to see who can hang up first, but... I, I... <laughs> I thought I had him once. I rang him really early and woke him up in his hotel. I think he was in London. I, he was, seemed to be on the phone for a very long time, and I realised he'd actually fallen back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Michael, are you there? <laughs> well, at least he didn't hang up on you. <laughs> I got him that time. Yeah. Guys, thanks very much for Don't joining us. Much appreciated. <laughs> Now, Michael, you also have a passion for sport, and one of your great personal achievements is your hole in one. And on the golf course that day, ladies and gentlemen, there were even witnesses. That's right, Glenn Wheatley and John Farnham. I still don't think I can believe it, but it was a pretty amazing shot. Well, let me tell you the real truth. You totally overclubbed it. You used the five iron instead of a seven. If you'd have used the seven, you would have got in there correctly. The five iron, you had to land in the full, in the hole, and you did. If you had missed it, you would have bounced over the clubhouse. You'd have never been there. It was a fluke. <laughs> That's true, because because when, when Gudinski gets his one wood out, duck for cover. Because like, he sprays them all over the place. And they're not cheap up there. I mean, he, I reckon I, I was up there with him one time, and I reckon he had about $100 of the balls in the bush, <laughs> and it's serious bush well, up there. He can afford those hundred dollars balls now, yeah, but sure. uh, now so that's okay. But uh, Michael, we're pleased to be there for one of your lifetime ambitions. Uh, uh, you did say it was one of two. I'll let you tell of what the other lifetime ambition was, but uh, we were pleased to be part of it on that particular day. Have a great night. Have a good night, mate. I'm not touching that other thing. <laughs> what is it, Michael? Well, there's a couple. We're going to win that Melbourne Cup, Frankie. Don't you worry. We're going to do it wherever you are, if you're here. And uh, a number one record in America. We've had a number two with Kylie, but we've never had the big number one in America. But uh, we'll get there. Okay. This is my first life. Now, apart from your golf, your other great pastime is horse racing, which you alluded to. You once co-own Thoroughbred Frontier Boy, who sends this cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
sounded like one of your clients. <laughs> At least the horses can't talk back. <laughs> now, here tonight are your racing buddies, trainer Lee Friedman, uh. Frank Stavala, and your best mate, Lee Simon. Can I put them on? <laughs> Lee Friedman, if we can start with you, just how successful was Frontier Boy? Well, he was the first horse that we had for Michael and the guys, and uh, yeah, Tell he the truth. Us. You he threw was... it out. <laughs> yeah, I did throw it out in the finish. Actually, I got thrown out, I think, but not by Michael. <laughs> Ran in the Melbourne Cup. Ran the Melbourne Cup, won us in Ledger. It was quite a successful horse. Hey, I didn't yeah. run in the Melbourne Cup. Can we get it right? It led round the turn. <laughs> yeah. That much. And Lee, of course, you were being... Michael's best mate, see a very different side of him, don't you? Uh, yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen the highs, I've seen the lows, like most people. Uh, maybe Michael's a little bit more dramatic than most. Uh, but he's got a favourite saying, and that is, you can stab me in the front, but never stab me in the back. And I, I think that sums up Michael's philosophy in life, both in business and also on the personal side. Uh, respects loyalty and repays it generously. Yeah, well said. OK. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming in. Yeah. And coming up after the break, a few more surprises for Michael Gudinski. But first, some international mates. Michael, this is your life. How you doing, pal? <laughs> well, they asked me if I would, um, if I had some anecdotes or some stories about the times that we've spent in our lives. And uh, so I was thinking about the 1987. Uh, oh, I can't, I, I can't say that one on TV. Uh, how about, uh, well, remember the time, 1990? No, nah, I can't say that one either. <laughs> I hope you remember the time you invited uh, the band and myself and the road crew over to your wonderful house, the country house. And uh, you had this great couch that I just happened to lay down on. I was just going to stay there for a few seconds. And everybody had a great day. And uh, they told me it was a great day. And I, I didn't know because I slept through the whole thing uh, because I'd been with you the night before. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Congratulations on This Is Your Life. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but right now I'm on tour in the UK. Now, the last time we did uh, the tour of Australia, it was fantastic, thanks to you. So hopefully the next time we do it, it'll be just as good. So my love to your wife, Sue, and again, all the best. How about 1995? 1995, yes, that was the time. No, well, no, can't say any of those on TV, but um, what I can say is that uh, every time I've been down in Australia, uh, you've always made me feel welcome. Uh, I can honestly say you're one of my best friends down under, and uh, thanks for being a great friend and uh, making me a big star down there. This is your life. Cheers, buddy. Next, Paul confronts... Hard left coming up. Hard right coming up. Hard right. He's off. The World Rally Drivers' Championship has been won the last two years in a Mitsubishi Lancer in tough conditions and even tougher terrain. What this means is that it's extremely reliable no matter what you throw at it. Did I pass? For a rally-based sedan from just 20490 drive away with free air. The answer, the new Lancer. If you really like cherries, you'll love Nestle Basket of Cherries. A six-pack of three delicious red cherry and three black cherry yogurts. It's all the variety a cherry lover needs. Pick a Nestle Basket of Cherries today. Excuse me, old son. Aren't you Raymond the Ram? Yep. Ram's Homeland's here in Melbourne. Yep. And you'll go anywhere across our magnificent city mm -hmm. to give people a better home loan? Yep. Doesn't he ever say anything else? Pay attention, Rex, you got one! Oh! Come on! Yibbity yibbity, folks. You will do mm. better at Rams. You're a fast learner, Rex. Thank you very much. Rams. One, three, R-A-M-S. Eight soldiers were chosen to save one man. Find him. That earns me the right to get back to my wife. Well, then, that's my mission. Tom Hanks, Saving Private Ryan. A film by Steven Spielberg. Now showing at cinemas everywhere. This week at Coles, you'll get the best market fresh food at low market prices during the Coles Fresh Food Sale. Get Savings Porterhouse Steak, just $5.99 a kilo. Save $4 a kilo. Farmland New Seasons Legs of Lamb, $3.99 a kilo. Save $2 a kilo. 
and fresh juicy mangoes, only a dollar eighty-five each. Plus, spend twenty dollars or more in our meat department and collect two hundred bonus flybys points this week at Coles. Next, Paul confronts a life-threatening operation, the dangers of allergic reactions, plus goodwill wishes for Vanessa. The season final of RPA is next. Welcome back to the life of manager and promoter, Michael Kodinsky. Michael, this year you sell your stake in Mushroom Records to Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation for millions of dollars. And for the first time in years, this allows you to slow down and spend more time with the family, particularly with your son Matt and daughter Kate. Here they are. How are we going? And Matt, tell us what makes you so proud of this bloke? Well, it's just, um, I'm really proud of what he's achieved in the last 25 years, and now he's sold his steak and mushroom records, we can spend more time together. But I especially like the way he dresses up when we go out. What? what? <laughs> hey, you share a passion with Dad too, don't you? Yeah. What is that? Um, I like singing. <laughs> and you want to go into the music industry too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> is Dad going to help you? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> what sort of a dad is he? Um... Cuddly one. Cuddly one. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Now, tonight wouldn't be the same, Michael, if we didn't have Guess Who. I'm no saint, but I am. <laughs> it's Molly Meldrum and, of course, St Kilda great Peter Spider Everett. <laughs> Uh, we can do it. Uh, Moll, if we can start with you, just give us your worst Gadinsky story. I can't because basically Michael and I have had more dramas than Shakespeare <laughs> and probably more laughs than Seinfeld. I mean, I could go through a lot of stories, him shoving my head in the microwave oven and my hat going off. I couldn't off, close but... it. I <laughs> But no, no, I'm going to be very nice tonight. I just want to say... Uh, because we really are like, you know, like Waddle Matthew and, uh, and Jack Lemmon and Grumpy Old Man. I mean, it's just silly. I'll make up tonight. I love him as a friend. I totally admire him for what he's done in this business, despite what Senator Alston may think. He's done an incredible amount for the Australian rock industry. And he is a wonderful uh, dad and husband to Sue and to the kids. Uh, and I'll just simply say, I love you, mate. Good on you. Now I can hate you for the next ten years. <laughs> You actually have aspirations to be a bit of a rock star yeah, yourself, right? Yeah, I did, right? actually. I wanted to speak to Mike about that because I've got my own song and... Uh, really? Spider Dance. <laughs> have you ever done that? Come on, Come Spider on. Dance. <laughs> but, um, I was there in 66. I want, to be there. I want to be there again with you, mate. No, so we've brought you a present, the headband. Yeah, you can wear this. And this is for 99. The Spider Good. Headband. <laughs> Uh, and Michael, tonight <coughs> would not be the same without our next surprise. She's there for you when you turn from boy to man. She's with your mum and dad, helping bring you up. Now, you might not have seen her for half your life, but she has fo been following every inch of your career for the past 25 years. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Michael's former nanny, Carmen Colombo. <laughs> So you haven't seen him since he was what, 15? Oh, about that. <laughs> and what so do you... I did ring, I finally rang back. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> what, well, yeah, it sounds like one of your return calls. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what, what do you remember most about him? He was lovely. Just beautiful. <laughs> You told the and, truth. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> and Carmen, you mentioned actually today that uh, that Mr. Gadinsky told you something just before he passed away. He was so proud, Michael. So is your mum. You know that. <laughs> what did he, he tell you? Last time I saw him, the last thing he said to me, Carmen, mark my words. You remember your father? I always said that. Mark my words, Carmen. 
Michael be so big in music business. He'd be so big. So don't be regretful because they don't see you. They knew it. Good. They knew it. Oh, <laughs> You'd be so big. He'd be looking at you from there. And very and proud. Say, very proud. Very proud of you. Yeah. The both of them. Good to see you. Tam, and thank <laughs> you for joining us. You. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, for over 25 years, you help launch some of the biggest names we have in music in this country. And your take no prisoners attitude still manages to earn you the respect and loyalty in an industry which, let's face it, is pretty cutthroat. And of course, tonight wouldn't be the same if we didn't finish the show with a tribute song. And it's quite a trio. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Jack Jones, Diesel and Jimmy Barnes. Everybody shake Oh yeah Come on Mary, Mary, you're on my man The folks are gone and the place will be mine Melbourne, our guests choose to stay at the Grand Hyatt. Michael Gadinsky, this is your life. Seen the show. And out of the book. Yes, Australia's favourite surprise party is now a book. Relive the magic moments and read the true stories of over 80 great Australians. Only $29.95 plus postage and handling by calling this number now. This program is brought to you by Optus. The following program contains medical procedures.